Hi, welcome to REN0216, and um, this is today's vlog. Um, I was thinking a lot about um, food, because I just had the stomach surgery. Mind you, I did lose like 140 pounds before the said surgery, but um, right now I'm on puree, and I'm really missing fruits and vegetables and I'm like okay what's a easy way to get fruits and vegetables in my diet I could always puree them myself but if I'm on the go like I know some people are after they get this weight loss surgery and then I came up with baby food because baby food doesn't have um sugar or salt in it you you can put your own salt in it to give it a little seasoning but a lot of the stuff especially in america has a lot of sodium more sodium than you actually need and um it's not good for you so i bought some baby food it's easy on the go if i'm out and about and i want to get hungry I don't have to refrigerate it, I just open and eat it, and they come in small portions, so after the surgery, you can only eat a little bit at a time. It's perfect, it's like a win, you know, you, I get my proteins from, obviously, my either my protein drinks, or I get it through my yogurts, and so I already know I have my protein that day. This is just to kind of, you know, balance it out. And I have been taking extra vitamins, like an, an extra daily vitamins on top of my um, mandatory vitamins. That way, with the adjustment of my body and the healing of my stomach, I'm still getting that nutrition. Vitamins are very important, and honestly, I do miss my fresh fruit. I really do. <laughs> And I, I've never been one to shy away from fruits and vegetables. It's just been something I enjoy, um, like everything in moderation, though. So I did do get some baby food, and I am, you know, keep it with me. So like I said, if I'm out and about and want something, like I always keep water with me, too, because I get thirsty. And with my stomach being smaller, I... Uh, get hungry like more frequent I guess and then thirsty but you can't ever quite get enough um mind you I kind of got a bug bite on my face today so I didn't do makeup uh you can kind of see it but it was really red this morning and then welted ah and behind me is my adorable little um very rare he's a uh, spoiled Oreo floof what a rare breed he is but yeah he's my spoiled Oreo floof he was the one meowing outside the door so I thought I'd be smarter and have let him in here this time the shelves was a Christmas gift from my brother thank you brother and the first thing I put on it was the light you gave me and now there's a cat so it's got a very rare spoiled Oreo floof on it. So yay. <laughs> um, and then of course my Siamese-ish. He's Siamese-ish because he's got stripes. He's uh, back there today. There's It's Mo is my Oreo floof. And my Siamese-ish is uh, Wally Wall. It's a new thing. He must, must, you know. Check it out or something <laughs> so uh yeah but mainly i i do want to thank my brother for getting me that it took me two days to build but i'm so relieved it is built and i also want to thank my dad and his wife they managed to get me a medical device i needed and 
I use it every day and I'm so grateful. I actually am truly grateful because I have a very good support group. My dad and his wife are supportive. My brother and his family is supportive. Uh, my best friend, I even have an aunt um, and uh, my cousin are very, very supportive. I love them. I love them all. And then what's really, I think the most supportive and that's mainly because they are local, they do live nearby, it would be my partner's family. And I am truly grateful for everyone. My partner, of course, is a rock through this whole process. Uh, he doesn't mind if I'm overweight, but he just wants me happy and healthy. And I am. <laughs> well, getting healthy. Every step I take is a step closer to health. So, yeah, I'm afraid we'll have an Oreo flu for the near future in the videos. He's uh, discovered a new toy, I suppose. I'm gonna have fun putting stuff up there. But, um, I really appreciate a lot of things and I know that there are people out there who want to make this journey but don't have that support network and I want you to know I believe in you and I know you can do it you can always instant message me if you're struggling that day, because it's not easy. None of it's easy, but it is worth it. So keep that in mind, keep it in your heart. And folky today, I guess, is the name of the Wear a folk shirt. Let's see. Today was a kind of busy day. I went and visited a friend down the road. She is bed bound, but it's um, she's not always. She's just bed bound for medical reasons. There are those. And I visited her today. I don't want to use names because I want to respect their privacy and that's why I don't really refer to my partner by his name or my brother or my father because I want them to respect their privacy it's just personal and um you know it's the way the world is I suppose now, I did go and buy some sweets for the neighbor down the road. I generally like to bring her a little something when I visit. It kind of brightens her day. And like I said, she's not overweight. She's just got other medical issues. And um, I did her nails today and trimmed them up for her. The other day I painted her nails and I noticed that they were chipped and they needed to be evened out. So I did that. And apparently I found out she doesn't like people cutting her nails. And I'm like, well, I'm really not necessarily. She did willingly let me do it. but <laughs> And her, her daughter and her husband were just joking about that, of course. Um, she let me do it because she knew that I love long nails. And if I could have long nails, if mine didn't break so easily, I would. If I could wear a nail polish, I would. But um, I trimmed her nails for her, but I only took just the bare minimum off to make them look pretty. Because, you know, I kind of wanted to have those long nails. <laughs> we take what little happiness is that you can give and just kind of spread. When I went to the store, I made sure I smiled and said hello to the people, the strangers that I met, because it costs me nothing to do, but it can make somebody's day. Why don't, why wouldn't I? It costs me absolutely nothing. 
but a smile and a hello, how are you, can really make somebody's day. Because you don't know what struggles they're going through. And holidays are hard for everybody. So I try to stay positive. I mean, I do have mental health issues that don't always allow me to be that way. And I understand that. But I do try my best. And that's all anybody can ever ask. So when you decide to make this journey with me, and you try your best, and you mess up, it happens. I mean, I did have three chicken nuggets the other day from McDonald's. There's nothing healthy about that. So, mistakes happen. Just keep pushing forward. Never give up. And always remember, hydrate. And I have my water bottle today. Well, sort of. <laughs> Hydrate. Same bottle. I refill them, clean it, refill it, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. I feel better with these kinds of bottles than the drink cups because I'm a klutz. I have a deformed air canoe and flat V8, so I'm always dropping stuff. Plus, the nerves in my hands always don't work right. I feel just better. It's like shatterproof. Uh, it's obviously been through a lot with me. And it's sealed. So reduce, reuse, recycle, right? 90s babies would know that one. <laughs> 90s kids, they know that one. It was like really big in the 90s. And they don't say that now. It's crazy. But be happy. And I do believe you can do this. It's not always easy. We do make mistakes. We do have struggles. No one is perfect. Because if we were perfect, it would be a very boring world. And remember, your flaws are what make you beautiful. That's what makes you unique, and it makes it you. I tell myself that every day. I'm not losing weight to be skinny. I'm losing weight to be healthy. So I hope you can, if you're on that journey, I am so grateful to join you. And if you're starting it, welcome. With hope, everything is possible. Never give up hope. And hydrate. I love you all. Goodbye.